Hi, this is Robin again. I just want to finish my discussion about uh, steak days and what I call steak day bulimia. Um, to, to finish, I want to make sure you all know that um, you know, when I say to not weigh yourself, I'm really not trying to be an extremist and, and tell you you can't look at it, but what you don't want to do is define the success um, of what you're doing by scale weight. You don't want to define your value as a person by how much you weigh and for many different reasons. One of the biggest problems with weight defining your value is that first off, if you do have extra weight and fat compared to the norm, you're always left to feel as if you're not as valuable that there's something wrong with you. But on the other side, if you do lose weight, that the value you think you're gaining is now a vulnerability, meaning it can go away. So if you think that you're getting um, self-esteem from the body or body esteem, you're at risk for that to go away. And this is where people are so afraid to gain their fat back that they control even tighter. They constrict themselves even more out of fear that that value they think they got is going to go away. And this is partly a sign that you just don't trust yourself. You don't trust that you're capable of eating less without control and that you think there's something wrong with your body. And I repeated that in the first, the first video. So I want to make sure that this is very clear that first off, you need, if you really want to get off of the whole diet disordered um, mentality, meaning you're addicted to dieting, you're addicted to thinking you need to lose weight and, and obsessing over how much you weigh and what food you're eating and, and um, you're addicted to all that, most of you aren't necessarily addicted to food as much as you are dieting. So if you really are sick and tired of it, I suggest you try something different. Again, focus on hunger. This is the way I truly am, I'm no longer, I have an obsessive compulsive eating disorder. And it is because I was willing to feel the vulnerability of hunger without judgment of food, without, f and, and allowing the worst case scenario of fat gain, um, all to to end my psychological obsession over my body image you know it was a body image disorder which I see and hear many many people sound the way I did when I was ill the way I thought and because it's so normal none of you guys know you have it but you do obsessed with your weight obsessed with food uh, 90% of what you think thinking about in a day is food or diet that's a disorder by the way um, much of it is just because you don't trust yourself anymore. The diet industry has really caused a major issue and plagued us all with these disorders, uh, body image disorders, and on the other side, just mistrust of food because, you know, the food industry is pretty bad. I'm not going to deny that. However, you got to take power away from them and start with yourself. And, um, you know, when, you, when you're done with this protocol, you have to, first off, develop a sense of confidence that you trust your body and then you need to let yourself do it. Um, when I work with people, 100% uh, of my focus is on them learning to listen to their body, to be able to differentiate that physical need for food from the emotional desire, and prepare them for the real world so that when they live amongst the gluttons, they live amongst all this gluttony, that they're capable of eating less out of a desire to eat less, not because they feel restrained or controlled um, or have guilt or or feel punished you know there's so many feelings that go that are wrapped around people who have what I call diet disordered mentality and back to the steak day steak day bulimia type behavior you really have to let go of control trust that you know what hunger feels like and that your body will tell you when it needs food and how much and you've got to use it perfectly and find out what the result is so, but again, it requires that you've really become an expert at your body. And if you haven't had the time to master that, you need to focus on that first in order to test yourself in what I'm explaining to you. So.
I don't know if any of this helps, but I'm going to do the best I can to help those of you who don't have access to what I do. Um, and those of you who have read Weight Loss Apocalypse who really are seeking for more. I couldn't get everything in that book. This, that, that book would have been t three times as big. So I'm going to do the best I can to help as many people as I can for free. So good luck.